Hey guys, this is Masquerade, and welcome to 1985. I'm just kidding. This is the demo for a game that should be coming out very soon, if it hasn't come out already, called Kyo from Nusakai or World of Horror. As you can see here, card game of cosmic madness inspired by the work of Junji Ito. A couple of my favorite channels have been talking about Junji Ito lately, and then this popped up in my feed, and I thought, this sounds like an interesting game. I've been playing it for a little bit, so this isn't a blind playthrough, but... There is one thing I have not done with this game yet. I have not beaten this stupid demo. No, it's not stupid. It's actually pretty cool. Let me uh, let me take you guys into it. So nothing seems to be working from here naturally because it's not a real desktop. I mean, this is pretty cool. Oh hey, hey! Now that I hadn't seen before. That's neat. So it's soundtrack. Oh, I'll remember those for later. There's a little thing those go to. Okay, let's get into the game. RIP headphone users. Maybe. I, I adjusted the sound a little bit when I turned this on. It just blared right in my headphones like, dude! So, the sound needs some work. There are a couple of bugs. Um, I have played a little bit, so I did unlock all the characters. Like a ghost girl, an athlete, and a Yakuza thug. Who I thought we had in the very beginning, but that could have just been a bug. So, what this game is, is that it plays out like a very old card game. So, if someone actually made a card game of this, you have no idea how stoked I would be. So, let's start a new game. And here you get to pick your character, and you get to pick the overworldly terror that's going to come and end the world. Now, there is a glitch where you can only pick one. It doesn't matter which one you pick, you only end up with the same one. Um, Atrachnaka, the spider god. So, that's fine, I suppose. And then we have these different characters you can play, each one with different stats. As you can see on the screen there, I tried to move my mouse up and then it disappeared. Eh, oh well. So you get all different kinds, including the ones I just unlocked there. So, this is the first one you start with, uh, Kiri Saito. A transfer student. 18. You sound a little old to be in high school, hun. But that's okay. So she has pretty generic stats. Not very much strength, but um, actually a lot of knowledge. So these are all ranked out of 10. And then it goes on from there. Like, um, the swimming team captain has a lot of dexterity, so she can move very quickly, but her knowledge is 5. She's not going to know as much as uh, Sa Saito back there. And then you have uh, Haru, who um, has a lot of strength, but not very much in the way of knowledge. So, kind of like in a D&D &D game, you'll get... you'll come across situations where you'll need to check stats, and if the stats conflict or are higher than your, um, your base there, then you'll fail, but if they are, but if your stats are higher than the base, you you'll understand. It's, it's pretty much D and D. And then you have these end of days. Al Yoshith, the demented towering eye. That's interesting. Like I really wanted to use this one for one of my first playthroughs, and then <laughs> oh no, lawsuit alert. The Uzumaki itself, from Jinjito's famous work, Uzumaki. But, it doesn't matter which one you pick, according to the bug, you only get the Spider God, so oh well. So, I'll start with our well-rounded, really old teenager from outer space, Kiri Saito. And we are going to sa solve a few mysteries connected to this, and try to thwart the coming evil that's coming in our way. So see, they gave me a spell already called Absorb. What does this do? Deals two damage to the enemy. Okay. Uh, hide that. I have no, word. I have no reason to cast it right now. Alright, so let us start the game. We're going to draw a card. I said we are going to draw a card. There we go. And start our first quest. Horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around your town. Ooh, man. Oh, the oh 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 is supposed to mean like, you know, blanked out. 
So, Mystery Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it the only tragic event that took place there? That's something interesting. Um, okay, so here's how the game works. So, to move through the game, like it says here, to advance the plot, you need to investigate specific locations in order here. And you have side quests that you can do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where you can get um, bonus stuff um, once you finish the game. Of course, the downside with these is... Um, the downside with uh, stalling is um, you can see the Doom counter up here. When this reaches 100% Doom, the Cosmic Horror, the Spider God, will arrive and it will be end of the world game over. So, you need to solve five mysteries before that happens. I guess in that way you thwart the Cosmic Evil, who doesn't wake up and we all live happily ever after. So, we need to learn about this haunted house. So we start at home, and then we need to go to our next location, which is downtown. Uh, according to our side quest, we need to go to the school. So, why don't we get that out of the way? We're just starting, we might as well try to get... Okay, so we'll go to the school, it takes about two hours. And of course, there's day and night, and specific points of time. So, um, 24 hours, you know, and different stuff happens during the day and night. Okay, let's investigate the school. A headless person stumbles out of the sculpting room and is reaching for your head. Ah, no, and we got into a fight! Okay, so this is combat. There is combat in this game. So, I can try to attack? It's got a knife, though. But to health. One dice plus two. So if I try to attack, it's most likely gonna hit. I can run away, or I can cast a spell. Well, I think I can cast... cast a... spell. He's throwing nuts. Uh... I'm gonna run. Running away from this enemy, you gain nothing. Well, I... I survived. Ah, uh, no, and the sound's not quitting. Ugh. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I investigated the school once, so... Combat's usually a bit more exciting than that. I'm just kidding, it's just a bunch of clicking. So... You can pick up weapons as you go, hopefully we'll be able to do that very soon. I don't like being defenseless. Oh, come on! Really? You know what? Fight me, bitch. Uh, here you can see the, the combat rules there, so I'm taking damage. Fight me. Fight me! I will get you! You know what? I'm not gonna. Ugh! We are done with the school! It's time to go downtown. We wasted quite a bit of time. See, our doom's already up by 2%. This was supposed to be a simple, quick search for stuff. Damn it! Alright, downtown we go. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. I mean, yeah. Oh, hidden cults. That's the problem. Hidden cults, man. Oh, and I'm already at the forest. Okay, the forest is our next location. Let us investigate. Oh no! Following ghastly music, you find yourself in a forest. The sound is getting closer. What is that? Ribs woman? Obsessed with beauty, she takes rib bones from beautiful women she kills and connects them with her own wire. We are the army of one! Everyone join hands now! Everyone join hearts now! Fight me! She's beating me up. I'm gonna run. And back downtown we go, because that was stupid. Oh, I see. It's nighttime, so it's more dangerous. Okay. Alright, back downtown we go. With the trail getting colder, you wonder if a similar case happened in the past. Maybe a trip to the library isn't a bad idea? Um... Nah. I mean, we're studying an old house. I'm sure if anything happened, there'd be newspaper stuff of it. Hard knowledge check success. Alright, so we got something. 
Right before the closing time, you stumble upon a curious article on the last page of the newspaper. You call for the author's name and give an address and get ready to leave. Alright, so we got some experience points, but our doom meter went up 3%. Did it? Bug a bug. Alright, and it's just taking me there. Alright, let's go and investigate the house. In a once-locked cabinet, you find a heavy tomb written in moth-eaten black velvet. Revealing the book, you recoil and disgust the volume in your hands, bound in human skin. <laughs> read it! Read it and read it out loud! Burn the thing. Failure! Your head swims with a maraud of blas blasphemous voices? Ugh. Let's keep looking around. Ah, uh, the stupid thing again? Yes! You may never know what was hidden inside this tomb, but that's a good thing. Minus 4% doom. Awesome! What do you want to bet we find this stupid book again? Ah! Investigation can wait. Bath filled with hot water in one of the bathrooms is too inviting. You clean yourself off and continue with new strength. Yeah! Let's just... Take a bath in the haunted house with water in there. Ugh. Well, one more investigation and then we'll be done. You feel watched. And the underground chamber. Investigate the chamber. Following strange music, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to the underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds that it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful song. Mesmerized, you step closer to the altar at the end of the room. That sounds a bit like an Ito story, sure. Unholy chants coming from the cave system connected with the mansion have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they ate what they had. Themselves. Ugh. Sick. Reward for this mystery? 30 XP. Throw the investigation with the um, bonus chapter 15 XP. Uh, one day has passed. And that was our first mystery. We're done. Awesome. Now we get to investigate another one. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He collected every scrap of legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped and he's decided it's time to make one of his own, using the upper bodies of students' materials. Ho ho! Or he played Mermaid Swamp one too many times. There's that too. Access says main screen. So, there's supposed to be a shop I can go to. In Samu, look. Curse, minus two charisma, the ocean is calling. Ugh, mermaids. Well, back to the task at hand. Oh. Ah, more fighting! I don't have anything to fight with! I guess that's the point of horror stories, and while that's supposed to be terrifying, I'm more annoyed. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from... From the glass fragments and notice the mass assailant holding a baseball bat. Dude, really? I can't fight nobody. I'm just gonna leave. A rioter! Yeah, sometimes the scariest stuff in the supernatural world is, um, the human beings themselves who are just so scared of everything. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete the quest. All right, seaside. The lighthouse looking thingy here, here we go. Let's investigate the seaside. Suddenly the air around you begins to twirl. Supernatural wave of coldness is approaching. Brace yourself. Success! The blizzard disappears as fast as it can. You hurry up and leave the beach. Five experience points. Uh, well I need to... Ugh. I was there, why did I leave? Come on! Suddenly it got much colder before you could react to your low growling song behind you. Bring it, bro. Demon cat! Canis, lunar cat. You morons are all stronger than me! Kick? I'll try that. Hey, I got it! Take that, stupid demon cat. Alright. Entering the school. 
corridor is floated by a black sludge slowly coming from under the chemistry classroom. A nasty, moldy, wet smell is getting noticeable as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? Um... Take a detour, risk it, sample the sludge. Empty bottle needed. Now there is a store somewhere in this game where you can buy stuff. Um, granted you have the money. Right now I have like five yen. Like, can you get five yen? Can you get anything under a hundred yen? I need to look that up. But let's take a detour. Better safe than sorry. You take the stairs and avoid the sludge by going through another floor entirely. Sounds good to me. Investigate downtown. Suddenly an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. Motherfucker! I'm getting hurt pretty bad. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I'd hurt pretty bad. Oh, it's probably under additional actions. Here we go. Shop for items. Rest at home. But to do that, I need to go back home. Or hospital treatment. Which I can't access right now. It costs money. That's okay. So I think I will head back home. And rest. That's totally what my room looks like right now. That's totally what my new room looks like. I'm just kidding. I don't have... Whatever that is. No, no. I, I, I don't need that crap there. I do need that. I do need that. If anybody could get me, like, one of these... I'd appreciate it. So, I rested up a little bit more, but, uh, so which helped my stamina and reason, so it's a little better. But time has passed, so that just gives me more doom. That's okay. Alright. Oh, they give these clues. Like, these, to the best of my knowledge, don't actually matter. Father of the family, which is a sailor, weird statue from Africa, manor one in cards. Manor one in cards. This is probably another glitch. This probably has to do with the, um, the house that we investigated earlier, but that's okay. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend waiting for a train. You catch up. During your catching up, you discover she's moderating a web forum about paranormal events, because she knows something useful. Chat, invite for coffee. Let's invite her out for coffee. Over coffee, you learn about the old gods slowly waking up to rule the earth once again. Could it be the reason the weird events are happening lately? Uh, most likely, yeah. Minus one fun, so it's, that's okay. Alright, let's investigate the school. This again. Detour. Ugh! The safe stuff just takes up more time. Damn it! Ooh! You find an old trophy case set in seeming... Mainly no longer use corridor. Everything is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Um let's get it. You break the glass window, hurting yourself a little bit in the process. This metal was not made of gold. You will be able to sell it. Well, I hurt myself, but I got that one one yen back. Let's just look it over. Success! Huh, it seems the person Involved with the current case is the prize-winning swimmer here. Really? The mermaid girl was a prize swimmer. Okay, investigate the school basements. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. Surrounded by candles on a dirty mattress, you see the corpse of a student. An upper body of them, at least. The legs have been sawed off, and in their place, the tall fish of a tail. The tall tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor. Luckily, I've got another healthy candidate for metamorphosis. You No, don't hurt me! This is the house again. Yeah, so this is another glitch. Like, no matter what, this ending comes up. Um, that's okay, you know, demo and all. I'm sure this has been... Alright, so we have a second case down. Doom is at 24%. It's not good. Hot bath. Aiko, improved resting at home. Oh, that's cool. That'll that'll help a lot. But it's a waste of time. So that's some of the things you need to consider doing. Like, you can rest up and such. But it, of course, wastes time. Alright. I didn't even see what time it was. Oh, that's okay. Because the goal is to beat this demo. I'm going to beat this demo. 
So, if I have to fight with no weapons, then I can't do that. I just need to run every single time. Alright, third one, here we go. Really, game? Really? Really? Son of a hell. Okay. Let's get the seaside again. Ugh. You can't shake the feeling that small dock buildings all hide terrible secrets. Yeah, that's some... Um... I'll be honest with you guys, I'm afraid of the dark, and that's... That's why. You just never know what's gonna... Come out. Just heard something weird outside. That's what I get for wearing headphones with all the doors open. No, everything's locked up though, I should be alright. Unless I'm not, and everything just stops suddenly, because I've been taken away by an ethereal horror. Need to investigate the seaside again. Docks in this town are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gather. The ancient architecture of a wooden temple occupies a small hill in the center. Look for a warehouse job, try to recruit allies, pray at the temple. Hmm. This is a toughie. What? I don't know what a warehouse job is supposed to do for me. Uh, recruiting allies, I don't know about you, but every work of horror, um, no one else believes the protagonist, especially if it's worked by Genji Ito, unless it's something happening to them too. Pray at the temple. Well, that's the one thing we could do, I guess. It doesn't matter if you believe or not, the smell of burning incense and old wood calms you down. Okay, that's good. That was worth it. Alright, so that was our side quest. Going back downtown. Hidden cults again. Draw one curse card. Suicidal! Son of a hell! You enter the kitchen. Even though it's abandoned, the lights are off. Something is being cooked in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Search for a weapon! I failed. Looks like someone has taken all the knives in the kitchen. The mere thought of it makes you feel uneasy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sucks. Exhausted. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're gonna fall asleep standing. Do you even have time for that? Um, we have the funds to buy a coffee. Quick jog around the block will be enough. Yeah, why not? Cold air wakes you up, but you trip and hurt your knees. <laughs> damn it. Well, damn it! That <laughs> completely defeats the purpose. Alright, Doom increased, but we got more XP. Let's risk it. Perception check success! You saw a sudden movement near your ankle in time to jump. Something trying to bite your something trying to bite your leg. You make it safe to the other side. Awesome! Awesome! Let's try again. I guess we can't. Crap! Alright. And we don't have time for this. Let's just get this over with. Because the music is actually getting on my nerves. Like, I wish there was a way to change it. I wish there was a way to adjust the sound. But oh well. Deduction? Koji. Bonus experience for finishing a mystery. It's elementary. Well, that'll be nice. Okay. Alright, third mystery. Mermaids! Alarming account of abnormal arms. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found and the apartment remained vacant. Oh man, locked door mysteries. Those are always cool. Investigate the hospital location twice. Hospital. Oh, and that's probably how we need to get treated. So you need to go to the hospital to get the treatment option to work. Son of a bitch. That's okay. While taking the elevator, you get a terrible feeling that something bad is going to happen. Yeah, I pretty much always do whenever I come to the elevator. Ha! And as always, what happens? There's just nothing there. <laughs> Whatever. Travel to hospital. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for the elder children? Come on! Man, everything is against me. Inns Masula? Another one? 
hell? You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. Apartment stalker. There's a rumor of a mass assailant going door to door beating tenants with a blunt weapon. No, thank you. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Stupid. We're now at 52% doom. This is stupid. Not doing it this time. We need. I need to beat this game. I failed. I failed to beat the game. I will do it though. Ah. Uh, oh well. I will do it. One of these days, I will do it. Well, when the game comes out, I'll certainly beat the game. Uh, at, which I can't wait for. I've, I've seen some of the promos, some of the new artwork and stuff such like that. And after playing this game, I did look up more works by Genji Ito. Which, uh, a lot of those would be really fun to deal with in this game. Uh, so yeah, that was Kyofu no Sakai, World of Horror. It was greenlit on Steam while Green Steamlight was still around. I'll put links below to the um, demo. And this was a lot of fun. I wish I got done what I need to get done, but I need to stop for now. So thank you very much for tuning in. Um, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Leave comments down below on what you would like to see. And I shall see you again real soon. Thank you.